Hey everyone, we're gonna do this fast flaming skull mask today. First, we'll start out with Paradise White on a Fantasy Worldwide sponge. We'll sponge it above the eyebrows, all over down the nose, above the lip, and on the tops of the cheekbones. Paradise White is my favorite face paint for doing big bases like this. It smells great and it's so soft and comfortable. And now I'll be sponging on Paradise Black for the same reason. It's super comfortable to wear over the eyes like this. So we're just gonna fill in the eye sockets with black and slightly under the eyes a little bit and do the same thing on both sides. It's totally okay if this part is a little messy because we're gonna come back in with a larger brush and fill in the edges. So now I've switched to Global Strong Black on a number 5 Low Cornell Round Brush and I'm just going to come in and fill in all of the edges. This doesn't have to be perfect. If it's wobbly and kind of crazy looking, that's even better. It gives it a really cool look with these skull eyes. And now using that same brush, I'm gonna to come to the bottom of the nose and flick up on both sides, pulling a soft edge to make the skeleton's nose. And now with a teeny tiny number one liner brush, I'm gonna come in and pull down some cracks on both sides of the eyes. I love this look. I think I'm gonna do this on my skulls from now on. It makes it look so spooky and scary and I just love it. And now I'm using that same sponge that had the black, the Paradise Black on it as before. I'm gonna come in and add some shading along the jawline right next to the mouth to kind of square it off a little bit. The great thing about this Paradise Black is it's so blendy, it almost looks like star blends, like a powder. It just blends so well with a sponge like this. And now just using the very edge of the sponge, I'll come in and add shading between the top row of teeth. In this mask, I'm only gonna do a top row of teeth just to keep it faster. And now I'm gonna come um, above the eyes and add in shading on both sides to give it a sinister, scary look. And just go ahead and blend it out with your sponge. And next, I'm going to take a number six Superstar Petal Brush, and I'm just going to push down the edge of my brush for the teeth. And then I'll come back in and just flick up on each one a little bit to give it the appearance of roots for the tooth. And now with a tiny liner brush, I'm coming into the jawline and making a couple of squiggly, um, messy lines to give the mask some definition. And to define the teeth even more, I'll come in and flick up a black line between each tooth. And now for the flames, I'll be using Party Explosion Rainbow Cake in the color Gilded Robes and Bam Stencil 1019 to give it some flames. I'm having the yellow at the bottom of my flames and the orange at the top to make this first row of flames. Using a stencil like this with a sponge, it gives it that nice gradient look where it goes from light at the bottom to darker at the top. And now I'll just come in and do a second row the same way. I have a little bit more of the red on the tip of my sponge this time just to give it some more definition. So I'm just going along and varying the flame pattern to give it some interest using all four of the different flame shapes at the bottom and making sure I fill in on both sides. Then I'll come in with the area on the top of the stencil that's the relief part and I've got a lot of red on my sponge now so I'm just going to fill that in and it gives it the illusion of a bottom row of flames. And next, I'm just gonna come in with a number one liner brush and give it a super fast, messy outline to all the flames just to give them a little bit of definition and make them stand out a little more. This step is totally optional. If you're in a hurry, you can just leave it out.
And at this point, you're pretty much done. I tried to keep this one fast and pretty simple. I hope you guys like this and you can try it out the next time someone asks for a scary skull. It's pretty fast and it's pretty easy. Thanks for watching.